Ganza that throws together South America and Europe, Argentina and Belgium, two of the original World Cup participants back in 1930. But they have made it this far, it's no particular surprise. What's perhaps more remarkable is the symmetry at work. Both have recorded four wins in a row at these finals, all by a single goal margin. Both have at times come in for criticism due to the apparent lack of aesthetically pleasing football. There is a feeling that Argentina and Belgium have additional gears still to find. A spine-tingling welcome. with a declaration on behalf of the Argentinian national team rejecting discrimination on any grounds but the performances must improve to use his aerial prowess Lock defences. Messi. Oh, and space here. Lavezzi. Away by. As you mentioned earlier, Cotois unbeaten in 21 matches for Belgium. You know, a lot of people thinking that it was probably going to be Simon Minolet. Lovely stuff there from Messi. Di Maria. And Higuain. What a start for Argentina. The drought is over. Argentina fluid, cogent, right from the off. But winning the ball in midfield just makes things happen. Taking on Belgian defenders, getting the ball wide. Overlap comes, cross comes in, and benefit of the defense. Sabaleta. Lionel Messi, by the way, winning his 91st cap. He's level now with a certain Diego Maradona. Man who wreaked havoc against Belgium in the semi-final of the World Cup back in 1986 when last Argentina were victorious. Parent club remains Chelsea. As we wonder at what point Coutinho is going to be the first choice at Stamford Bridge. Probably pretty soon, you would have to think. Well, there's a big question in, in exactly what Chelsea are going to do. And here's a replay, Messi. Just Messi, Dependencia. Others have got to chip in, Di Maria certainly did in the last game. Even when Maradona was at the peak of his power as he had. Likes of Jorge. But you see that line is going to try to push Belgian high, try to push Fellaini far away from the goals. Rodovic. And away goes the ubiquitous Messi. support he was happy enough to do it on his own here's from a little while ago really not much contact on Messi Messi knew he had no other better from Belgium but have they left themselves exposed Messi that wasn't quite the ideal touch companies there and Messi has transgressed that was a difficult touch from Messi originally off of a difficult ball the post remember with a free kick after he'd come on as a substitute against Russia at the Maracanã. And company in danger of being at pace by Di Maria. An effective block though. Excellent defending in the end by Vassar's back. Yeah, you see an absolute fantastic pass from Messi. Di Maria comes through, cuts inside, hits the shot. Well, it's been about Messi for Argentina so far here at the World Cup, but it has also been about Di Maria. Actually, given the fact that treatment is being administered to Di Maria, thoroughly enjoying themselves, so close to home, relatively so. They are still standing up. So his nickname, El Jefecito, the little chief. Of course, El Jefe, the chief himself, was... We're not quite sure. I think this is just a continuation of that thigh problem that Di Maria has. Of course, in the Champions League final for Real Madrid against Atletico. Well, Messi has done so since 2008. Messi. 
Yep. Messi. All trying to work his way through a thicket of Belgian legs. Free kick on the very edge of the penalty area. The Messi mélange befuddling the Belgians. Well, it starts with an absolute phenomenal first touch. And he rides two, three, maybe even four fouls before finally succumbs. That's usually a foul anywhere you're at. It's a little kick between the legs and stepping on the feet. And you do anything you possibly can to stop that man. And sometimes you still can't. It really is a joy to watch. Here is Lionel Messi. The eyes for goal. As the Belgians held their breath. Yeah, this is where he's doing. He's hitting right over that wall. That's trying to unsight Courtois. The wall moves maybe a little bit too early. Messi has to hit it with power if he knows he's going to get it past the side that Courtois is guarding. And he just misses that upper corner much. Oh, slick. Elusive stuff again from Argentina. Away by Basanta. Messi. A hop, a skip, and a jump. As he looks for options. Didn't have too many, to be fair, Lionel Messi. Yeah, having that early goal has allowed Argentina an amount of patience. Messi. Ezequiel Lavesi. Messi. And just keeping good defensive shape. Back. We still have Messi on the ball now. The first half in Brasilia comes to an end. Argentina not wasting any time. That man, Gonzalo Higuain. Starts to chip it in. Comes harmlessly through in the end. Argentina have been going to the Messi well this World Cup, and they have been drinking copiously. Yeah, Messi looks like he's just trying to find Basanta at the far post. Taken short by La Messi. Well, Lionel Messi. Ahead of the brown, eh? Messi beautifully done. Ezekiel Messi, he jibs Alderweire. No scope for the players in the wall to move too early. Messi, Courtois. He had a bit of difficulty picking that up. Thibaut Courtois. Yeah, I think like most young goalkeepers, the part of your trade. That usually takes the longest to develop. Is your Wayne once more. And Messi had a bit of pursuing to do. And up top, allowing Argentina to then come out of their shell and get into the attack. So I think it's been Iguain's best. Puts it through his own net. And Belgium have to chase back and quickly. First things first for Belgium, they've got to get themselves back into the contest. Mascherano, deftly done, Messi. As this quarter-final gets older. Messi. Trying to dribble his way through. He's looking for options. Messi. Every minute, every minute, rather like an hour. 
Messi. Going to buzz onto the scene again. Go kick. Messi. Still going. The man who's so difficult to contain. <laughs> Messi trying to cut a swain through the Belgian defence. That good defensive shape. They've still had opportunities to double that lead. And at the same time, they found that little bit of space. And it was a clear trip by Lionel Messi. Now he, he knows he's got a little bit more defensive responsibilities now. Continue to bar the way to goal. Messi, twinkle toes himself. Palacio in pursuit. Clever play by Palacio. And they might be able to finish it here, Argentina. Lionel Messi has the freedom of the stadium here in Brasilia. Thwarted though by Courtois. But here was the chance. We said Messi would probably get another opportunity. Courtois comes up big and... Argentina have done it the difficult way without Di Maria for most of this match. Without Aguero from the start. And it was Gonzalo Higuain who delivered for Alejandro Sabella. Just as he was called upon to do so. It's a sore one for Belgium. But the future is bright. Undoubtedly for the Red Devils.